What's up, YouTubers? I was wondering if everybody knows what a gollywog is. Well, if you don't, this video will tell you what one is, okay? When I lived in England, when I was like, went there about five years old, six years old, started school there, and I used to get chased home from the other kids in my class, and they would call me a gollywog, and they would call me a half cast, and other names, and I don't think that I looked like either or, but apparently to them, I did. Apparently, I looked like one of these dolls. Um, they are no longer in production because, of course, they're racist. But I want people to know that as a white person, I have experienced racism. No. Because I was called a gollywog, which black people find offensive. So evidently, I was called offensive names that they would use towards black people. So being white, I have suffered racism. But during this Black Lives Matter movement, it seems that I can't share that story with any of them because apparently I want to ride on their coattails. Now, I don't think I looked like that. I guess according to people in England, this little girl looks like a gollywog. I myself, I don't see the resemblance. Do you? <laughs> I hope not. But anyway, I will tell you that I may have looked like this little girl from The King and I. I missed my call to fame there because when I was in first grade, I auditioned for The King and I, did not know, the one with Yul Brenner on Broadway. No wonder why they wanted me so bad. Look at how cute I was. I could have definitely been one of those little princesses, but I certainly did not look like a gollywog. But I will tell you, I have suffered unequality, and there has been things in my life that haven't always been fair. But I certainly don't blame a certain race, I don't think that people that weren't the ones who harmed me and never were slave owners should be the ones to pay me reparations and give me their house for free. What needs to happen is the qualifying immunity doctrine needs to be abolished. It has to be abolished. If you're out there fighting about police brutality, then make sure you're out there to repeal the qualifying immunity doctrine. If you're rioting in the street about police brutality and you don't mention the qualifying immunity doctrine, then you are just out there to cause trouble and that's a fact. Their absolute biggest fear is that you start screaming, repeal the qualifying immunity doctrine. Why don't you do that? Why don't you grab them by the balls and start screaming, repeal the qualifying immunity doctrine. That is exactly what they don't want you to know about. I'm telling you about it. Get out there and do it. Because if you don't, then you really don't care. United we stand, divided we fall.